everybody. So today we're going to have a hop breakdown on Star Trip West Coast IPA from Arvon Brewing Company. Uh, so this is 7% uh, West Coast IPA uh, brewed with Galaxy Talus and Cairo Simcoe hops. Um, I did not look up, so I, I've done some of these. I think this is the fourth one. I've already done the full review. I will link that at the end if you want to go see that. I'm not going to go through everything in here. I want to focus more on the hop profile, and I just messed it up. Um, so if I can get back to my thing... So the first one I looked up is Galaxy. Uh, so this is a 7%. We are getting up there to... Um, actually, I was going to look up to see what the IBUs are if they listed those. Um, but we're starting to creep up to that double IPA. Uh, it does not show IBUs on untapped. Uh, so we're not sure what those are. But West Coast style IPA, most of the time when I think of a West Coast IPA, citrus, zesty citrus, pine bomb in your face. A little sweeter, especially when you're getting up there to the double. Um, color on this one, I think is good. Looks like it should. Again, uh, if you want to go check out the full review, you can. So the first hop up is Galaxy. So passion fruit character along with aromas and flavors of clean citrus and peach. Um, the Some of the other flavors on Google, I'm just searching Galaxy Hot Profile. Um, it says... Uh, um, more flavor profile is fruit with no floral, pine, or spice. And that's kind of weird uh, because in the untapped thing, they put floral. And I didn't get floral, and I don't like floral. So that's just something. Uh, so smelling this and tasting it, there is some fruitiness in there. I said it in the review. Um that passion fruit usually comes through as a, a, a dankness, um, but it's not in this. Uh, could that be because it's lower and there's other hops in here doing something else? But now that I'm reading that, peach, like a juicy, meaty peach, I could kind of get some of that in there. Um, I'm thinking that because of the sweetness, it, it almost feels like it didn't attenuate all the way. So there's more sweetness in there where in a West coast IPA, I don't think you're going to see all that sweetness for the taste. For the taste, I think it's on the back end. That fruit is on the back end, like a generic tropical fruit. Um, in there. There is a lot of perceived bitterness in my eyes in this one and it kind of scrambles it but you still get that fruit in there. So the next one, the next top in here is Talus Hops. Uh, grapefruit, floral, stone fruit, pulpery, woody, cream, pine, and resinous notes. Um, so that's a lot of stuff going on. Now, might this be good to use in, say, a stout that's barrel aged? That Would that woodiness come out? I don't know. I've never used them. I don't get woodiness in here. I don't get pulpery. Uh, I, did set a, I did say a little onion garlic from the Simcoe in there. Could that be pulpery? Eh. I don't, I don't get it. I almost think, if anything, that stone fruit and maybe that grapefruit, uh, I did say uh, that I didn't say that there was citrus in here because though I, most hops are going to have some kind of citrus. And so it wasn't big enough like it stood out like that was the flavor profile that they were going for. That's why I didn't mention it. In the back, you could say, because of that bitterness in there, you could say grapefruit rind, um, but I didn't go there. Like I said, I think it's more um, a, a, a sweeter fruit uh, in there with some bitterness. Um, so if we look at the last one, now I looked up Simcoe. I don't have Cairo Citra or Simcoe, um, so I'm not 100% sure if... Maybe the f flavor profiles change a little bit, um, but it, it's going to be close enough. So I did look up a couple different things for this because 
Um, what it says is stone fruit. So that's like two that have had stone fruit. Pine, citrus, zest. Um, so yeah, that stone fruit playing off uh, the other hops that have it. Yeah, I could see citrus zest playing off grapefruit. Um, so you're just adding more in there. Um, high alpha acid too, so that's going to up the IBUs um, on this. Uh, as long as they used them at the beginning of the boil, obviously the longer the hops are in the boil, the more bitterness or IBUs you're going to pull out usually. Um, so that bitterness level is going to be high. I think it's around 70, 75, um, but I could be wrong. Now, the interesting part, uh, I did click on um, like a picture of it, and it has passion fruit berry, which I said, I'm thinking I'm getting some berry from this. And the crazy part, I thought it was mosaic that had the berry not Simcoe, um, pine, earthy, citrus, bubblegum. Um, that berry sometimes does come off as a bubblegum in my eyes and in my taste buds. So I can kind of see, okay, that's bubblegum. It's not berry. I was also trying to find, as it's warming up a little bit, I think I, I'm going to say now it's more bubblegum. <laughs> so uh, again taking if if you've never like looked at the hops in there and then drank the beer that's why I kind of started this because um, on one of them I was like well these have two of the three hops that this other beer has and so only one's different so that's why I did a couple of those but yeah I, I wanted to see I couldn't find it um, but there, there was one site that listed out like the garlic, the onion on Simcoe and I couldn't find it and I didn't want to waste all the time. Uh, but yeah, so there's your breakdown of this. Let me know if there's another one I should do. And I might do this at the beginning of one, do the breakdown first and then review the beer. But yeah, this is fun for me. Let me know if it's fun for you. Don't forget to check out some more videos over here. And until next time, cheers.